Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. Try to make this your foundation right now. So make it comfortable and make it strong. Comfortable in the sense that the breath feels good coming in, going out. If it doesn't feel good, you can change it. Experiment for a while to see what kind of breathing feels good. So this is a good place to stay. And you want it to be strong in the sense of not going anywhere else. If any thoughts wander away from the present moment, you don't have to follow them. If you find that you have been following, then you just drop them. You're going to be back right here. You want to give the mind something solid inside. As you look at the world around you outside, what's solid out there? Even the earth moves. Water, wind, fire, they all move all the time. Societies go up and go down. The weather goes hot, goes cold, hot, sometimes wet, sometimes dry. There's very little out there that doesn't change. In fact, everything changes fast or slow. So where are you going to hold on? You have to look inside. And if you look inside, you see there's a lot of change too. But the difference is that you can make the mind a lot more solid than it is. It comes from your intentions. As the Buddha said, all phenomena have the mind as their forerunner. They're made by the mind, they're excelled by the mind. In other words, it's the mind is in charge. But all too often we abandon that responsibility and don't take advantage of that power. We end up doing things that are unskillful. And then we complain about the results. And then we throw the blame on somebody outside. Well, that doesn't solve anything. Complaining doesn't solve anything. You have to look to see what you're doing. What have you been doing that's giving rise to unskillful things? And you can change. The Buddha has said that the mind has this luminous quality. In other words, it can observe itself. It's because you can observe yourself that you can make changes. It's when you refuse to reflect on yourself, that's when you don't learn. So look at what you do. Before you do it, ask yourself, what do I, what do I expect out of the results of this action? If you expect any harm, don't do it. While you're doing it, if you find that there is unexpected harm coming up, then you stop. No unexpected harm, then you keep on continuing with the action until it's done. When it's done, then you look at the long-term results. And again, if you, something appears that was unskillful from what you did, okay, you make up your mind not to repeat that mistake. And you talk it over with someone else who's experienced on the path to get some ideas of how you might avoid repeating that mistake. But if there was no harm done, then you can take pride in the fact that you're Practice is developing. It's in this way that you develop wisdom, compassion, purity, all the qualities of the Buddha. Wisdom in realizing that your actions are going to be the most important thing to pay attention to. Compassion in that you don't want to cause any harm to anybody. And purity in the sense that you really do follow through with those principles. When you have these qualities inside, okay, they become your foundation. The Buddha found true happiness by developing these qualities, and so we've, we developed them in following his example. And that's how you find something solid, something of lasting value inside. So keep reflecting on your actions. As for the world, and the, the currents of the world flow in all kinds of directions, and they're pushing this way, pushing it that way. But you don't want to be pushed around by other people's opinions. You want to be, be motivated by what's right what's good, what's wise, compassionate and pure. Those are the things you want to have influence your actions. And so if you've got those different qualities developed inside, then you're secure. If they're not developed inside, then you try to find somebody who has developed them and you learn from that person. It's in this way that we find something of solid value in our lives, something that will hold us in good stead for a long time to come.